Hey everyone, it's me here again, TF Fan Collector, with another video review. Now, in my last review, I reviewed Transformers Siege, War for Cybertron, Decepticon Air Commander, Starscream. If you haven't checked out that review yet, head to my YouTube channel, check it out, along with all my other reviews. But besides that, let's get started. Now, today I will be reviewing Transformers Siege, War for Cybertron, Decepticon, Barricade. Barricade is actually one of my favorite Transformers. Uh, I honestly think he's a really cool dude. Just because, well, he's a Decepticon and everything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I honestly love Barricade. He made his first appearance in the live action films and I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken I did a review on the live action version of Barricade so again if you haven't checked him out head to my YouTube channel and do all that but yeah I was really happy to see Barricade make an appearance in the Siege show because that show is amazing if you haven't seen it yet go check it out it is really good if you have Netflix go check it out but yeah, honestly, Barricade was really cool. I honestly loved the fact that he was actually featured in the show. And to be completely honest with you, um, I honestly wondered what Barricade would look like in cartoon mode. And, well, now we know. But, anyways, besides all that, um, I don't really think there's a whole lot to talk about him. Because, well, again, I'm pretty sure you've all seen the show and everything. But, again, I don't really think there's a whole lot to talk about. Just because so many people have already seen the show. We already know what he's like. And, well, if I have to get my own personal opinion, which I kind of already am. Um, I'd have to say I absolutely loved his vehicle mode in the show. I loved on how it just, like, on how he just went down. Like, he was just crouching down and turning into a car. Unlike a lot of other transformations where they have to do some kind of like funky misshaped transformation, I honestly like the transformations these guys did. All they did was fold in like they did in the G1 show. And I love on how they were so reminiscent to the G1 show. I love how the creators made it so reminiscent to the G1 show. It was really good. But anyways, besides all that, and again, don't really have too much to talk about, because again, we all know a lot about this dude, and I don't really have a whole lot of opinions about him, but out, now that that's all out of the way, let us check out the packaging. Now here we have the packaging with the words Barricade and Decepticon symbol right here, with the words Siege, War for Cybertron, Trilogy, with the words Transformers, and with Hasbro and Dakara. Again, thank you so much Hasbro and Dakara for this amazing production line. With the Autobot symbols, Generations. And on the side here, we have a barricade looking all fierce and brutal. With the words Deluxe Class, Deluxe Classy, Class, Class, Class. I do not know how to speak that. But yes, this is Barricade on the side, looking all fierce and fearsome. Looks like he's about to pound someone into the ground. So yeah, he is pretty cool. And again, love the fact that we got to see him what he's like in cartoon version, because this is really cool. On the back here, we have Barricade in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. Let me just adjust the camera here real quick. We have Barricade in his vehicle mode, and again, love the vehicle mode, love the fact that he is so much dark on him, it is really cool. Um, I don't exactly have his blasters on me, because, well, I have him in a small little blasters tin, which I keep all the accessory weapons, which I have to say is a real pain, it's a real pain in the butt to have to dig through that, so I'm not, I didn't even bother with that. But the blasters are really cool, and as you can see from the box here, um, the blasters can uh, separate into two, so if you want him to hold it into one, you can, or if you want him to hold him on his car mode, you can. And again, he does not come with these extra weapons right here, which again, really wish Hasbro would add those into there, but they don't. But um, yeah, pretty cool. And if you ever want to relive the scene of him firing on Ultra Magnus when Megatron specifically orders you to stay put and not do a damn thing. And if you want to be like Barricade where you're just like, 
I don't care. I'm going to do my own thing. And risk getting smacked in the face? Yeah, you can recreate that scene. <laughs> All right, oops, my bad. And here on the side, we have the Transformers awesome, awesome imagery here. Right here, looking all sorts of cool. Like, this wallpaper is really cool. Again, as always, you got Optimus Prime here, looking all mystery and mysterious and fearsome. Here we have Moonracer and Sideswipe, and on the side there, Prowl, along with Hound and Red Alert, along with all the other bots and Decepticons fighting one another, which the Ark taking off from this beautiful image of Cybertron here. Look at this image. This is just mwah, gorgeous. With the Autobot symbol, Authentic Transformers, Transformers Siege, War for Cybertron Trilogy. And on the top here, we have the Autobot symbol looking all wrecked and beat up, as always, with Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy on it. And, of course, on the, si on the bottom here... We have these weird words. Oh, wait, that was... Okay, okay, apparently that was on the right side. We have all these words here with a bunch of numbers and stuff, if you want to read that, if you care at all. And, oh, yeah, I, I almost forgot about this. Right here we have, Warning, please do not eat or breathe anything in this box that could be toxic for your children. So, keep any child that is under the age of three away from this box. So, yeah. But anyways, that is all for the box. Here we have Barricade in his robot mode. And again, love this robot mode. I love the fact that Hasbro was able to give us a barricade that... A barricade that is really cool in animation and is just by far really amazing as a character in whole. Of course, we all know that Barricade is a bad cop. So if you ever want to replay, so if you ever want to play that bad cop versus good cop scene in your stop motions, I'm I know I've seen a lot of stop motions with live action Barricade in cartoon Prowl um, and versus videos to see who's stronger, who's better, and if you want to take that to the next level with Siege Prowl and Siege Barricade, then yeah, go right ahead. This I also think this is really cool. I might do one of those. Myself one of those days sometime in the future when I get my Prowl figure because I do not have Prowl in my collection. But um, yeah, so far I love the design of this figure. It is really good. So let us get a closer look at the figure itself. Really nice head looking sculpt here. This head sculpt has a very nice looking purple crown to it. Curve here with a yellow face looking very nice indeed. I very much like this. This is really good. With that beautiful Decepticon symbol and that beautiful chest plate there. That is just looking amazing. With these arms, which if you move the wings out of the way, you can do a full 360. So yeah. And same thing with the other arm, of course. And the legs here are have a very nice purple and black tint to them. I love on how these look. And this uh, and this whole thing here, the uh, the centerpiece is really cool as well. Got some really nice designs right here, looking all kinds of awesome with the crotch piece, having a little yellow thingy there. The arms looking very nicely detailed as well. The back, there's not much to say about the back except. It's a back, so yeah, that's a thing. But um, yeah, and his lights here, which go onto his car mode, you can stick them on there. That's uh, the instructions basically say the lights are just basic uh, extra accessory for the car mode, obviously. But I put them on to his arm because I thought it, hey, it looked cool. But um, yeah, besides that, that is pretty much the figure itself. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, for Robo mode, I guess. So, yeah, let's get on to the transformation. So, you put the feet, the back feet here down, and these ones here. Put the feet like this down, link them up like this.
And of course, you can't put the hands down in any way in this robot mode. But you can take this whole piece here, lift this down all the way in, flip that down until you hear that snap. Flip the headpiece in, turn this all the way around, and plug this into here. Make sure that's all nice, tightly, and snug. Then you put the car window, the car doors in like this. <clears throat> Sometimes this thing likes to be stubborn with me. There we are. There are also little tabs in here that will allow you to make the door stick better. And just for the record, I just noticed those little tabs. Literally. <laughs> I literally just noticed those. I never noticed them before. So you put the arms here. Oh, take this here off. Take the arms here, put them down like that. Same thing with that. And that is car mode. Now again, with the blast tubes, which I do not have on me, because again, I do not want to have to go through that tin of accessories, because that is just a hell of a mess to go through. Um, yeah, so far this is really good. I honestly like this, and again, with the blasters, if you want, you can put them onto the robot mode, because um, for those of you who've seen Transformers Prime, I've only seen one season of it. I haven't seen the whole thing. I really gotta look for the rest of it. Um, for those of you who've seen Transformers Prime, you can recreate that scene with the Decepticon fighter bots, or whatever the hell they're called. Um, you can put the blasters on there to make it look like it's one of them fighting the Autobots, like shooting away a... Uh, RC and Jack, I think his name was. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, again, for those of you who have seen Transformers Prime, you can definitely recreate that scene. I definitely think it's cool. Like, have Barricade as the commander of the ground force. Yeah, that'd be cool. But, um, yeah, so far, I honestly love this car mode. Let's get a better look at it. I love this car mode. The design and everything is just so smooth and clean. It's just really good and just by far amazing. And you got little bile damage there just to show that he's been in a bit of a conflict. And that's pretty. These are pretty much the only two battle damage parts he has. He doesn't have battle damage parts anywhere else. It would have been. I think it would have been really nice if they just added a few more scratches onto this guy just to make it look more like he's actually been through a lot of crap. But no. Now, here we do have underneath, like, all the limb rotations and limb accessories and whatever the hell you call it again. Um, you do have some visible head syndrome, which really shouldn't bother you, like, at all. But, um, yeah, so far so good. It is a really awesome looking car mode. I honestly think it is really cool. This is by far a really nice transformation. I have to say, it is really cool. But besides that, with all of that out of the way, um, yeah, pretty nice car. Love the colors. Um, I definitely give it a rating out of, I would say, 9 out of 10, um, um, just for number wise, ju just because the doors can be a bit tricky sometimes, but, um, no, I'd give this a solid 10 out of 10. Honestly, I'd give it a solid 10 out of 10. Um, there's honestly nothing wrong with it. Um, it's a really great looking car mode, and the figure itself is amazing. Um, one little minor issue with the legs, though. The legs don't always like to stand up. You sometimes have to position him in a certain way, which isn't really difficult. Um, but yeah, I'd give this figure a full on 10 out of 10. Just for car mode. Robot mode, 9 out of 10. Car mode, 10 out of 10. But, um, yeah. Pretty cool so far. Anyways, though. Let us revert him back to robot mode. Oh, 
Oh, and also, I forgot to mention this. Uh, I'm really hoping he makes another scene in the Earthrise series because we've been seeing lots of trailers uh, on the Earthrise series of all the the Autobot, the remaining Autobots trying to get off Cybertron and Megatron giving his little speech on how Optimus Prime killed himself and how, on how he practically doomed Cybertron by tossing the AllSpark into the Space Bridge, which I kind of have to agree with Megatron on that. That was kind of stupid and idiotic of Optimus Prime to do. Like, I know he's trying to save the planet, but still. I, I know he did it with every other version of a Transformers line, but every time he does, people are always harking on him about it. Like, they people hate it when Optimus Prime does that. And I'm not going to deny, it is kind of stupid that Optimus Prime does that. Like, seriously, out of all the stupid things he had to have done, that was the most dumbest thing ever. But, yeah, I'm really hoping to see Barricade in the uh, in the Earthrise series. I'm really hoping to see what he looks like in the, seri in the new series. I'm really hoping to see what he's like in the new series. But yeah, here is Barricade in his robot mode, and whoops, let me adjust that. Now again, the reason I have a little problem with the legs is because whenever I was trying, because, um, whenever I did, like, a little something different with the legs, like, let's just say that whenever I positioned the legs, like, tried to position them in any sort of way, he'd always fall over. But right now he's doing pretty good. I have to say he is doing he's standing up very nicely indeed. Like this is uh this is pretty accurate to how he stands. Any other way I positioned him, he kind of fell over cuz well, the legs aren't that great. So again, the figure I'd give 9 out of 10 just because the legs do tend to act up every now and then. For me anyways, I'm not sure if it acts up for you guys in any way. Let me know in the comments below if your version acts up in any way but yeah the legs itself the legs are pretty good they just they just don't like to go in certain positions for me but um yeah so far he's pretty cool i honestly think he's a really great figure i would definitely recommend him if you don't have him already i got this dude off of amazon so if you want him you can go get him there he is absolutely a really cool figure it's only been Wow, it's only been 17 minutes going on 18. Now it's 18 minutes. Wow. So we have not been doing too bad. All right then. So um, before I end this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is actually going to be the last video that I do for this week and all of December. Um, I'm not leaving YouTube. Trust me, I'm not. I love this too much. But um, I am going to be uh, taking a little break from this um, due, just due to the holidays and everything because... Christmas is uh, sadly on its way. Uh, I hate to admit it, but a lot of summer people were right. Summer went by too fast. Don't get me wrong. I love the cold. I love the snow. But uh, we're moving way too fast into the festive season. But anyways, guys. Um, yeah, that's not the only reason I'll be taking a little break. Um, the other reason is because I'm currently in the process of moving. All my other figures have been packed up except for this one. I want to do review this guy and let you guys know that i will not be doing any more reviews um at all in december so yeah so you will see me again in 2021 so hopefully we'll be all really happy to see each other again then um but yeah if you still want to follow me on any other social medias you can go follow me on tiktok i stopped posting on there because like i said um moving and everything but um, and I'm not posting any content on there, but you can still follow me there if you want to, if you haven't already. But as always, guys, I hope you have a great night or day, depending on where you are. Wear a mask, stay safe, wash your hands, tell your friends and family. And as always, never stop being a kid. Do what you love and have fun. But as always, until next time, see you guys till next year and till all are one. And... Eh, what the hell. Merry Christmas.